Oh, hey, there's a thing here. Squish it. Okay. We're good. So, last time, there was a lot of talking, and then I, uh, subjected people to my really, really bad Lumpy Space Princess impression. Which is interesting, because, um, if I'm to trust, like, trolly YouTube commenters, apparently I just sound like Lumpy Space Princess anyway. So the fact that I can't do a good impression is unusual. So anyway, we've got Flurry. She's she, she's a thing. You can like do stuff and do other stuff. I don't know. She's not that bad of a partner, really. I just most people don't use her that often. Um, let me go ahead and at least do one battle just to see what we've got, because, uh, let's see, we've got 15 HP, which is already better than, uh, the starting HP of the other characters, which makes sense, she's a bit more girthy, um, so we've got the Body Slam, and we've got Gale Force, now this one, if I remember correctly, does not give you any kind of experience if you do this, so I'm gonna test it out just to see if I'm right. Because it should just blow the enemies away. Oh, no, I guess you do get experience. Never mind. So that was a waste of FP, but whatever. Um, I thought that it was one of those type of moves similar to, like, the, uh... What was I gonna say? The, um... The one that Bowser has in Mario RPG that, like scares enemies away, because that just, you don't get any experience points from doing that then. Um, okay, this is kind of irritating. Can I, like, switch to somebody and... Okay, good. Trying to do good timing on attacks, but no. No, not gonna happen. So anyway, I'll keep Flurry around for a while, just for the sake of variety. Oh boy. I get to double my two into four, which is not a bad thing, but it would be nice to get that on uh, battles where I get more. I don't know. Guess I can't uh, complain about a free boost like that. Yeah, like I said, I'll keep her around for a little while just for the sake of variety. Um, I don't think there's anything actually wrong with using Flurry. It's just that her main form of attack is. Pr oh god, here we go. Main form of attack is pretty similar to Goombella, and it just seems kind of redundant. Alright, uh, what am I doing again? Oh, yeah. Wait, did I read this already? I think I already did. And then this is just stuff that I don't really care about, but let's see. I like, I like how the Pianta Changer has an edge. Some of these, I guess, are kind of funny. Maybe not. Okay, so yeah, it's basically just saying, like, hey, here's stuff. But I'm gonna go to the tree, because that's where you're supposed to go. I could go back and uh, use Flurry's, like, wind powers to uncover some stuff. I know of at least, like, one or two places where that can be used, but... Not gonna bother with it right now. I'll come back and do that eventually. So time to find the hidden invisible thingy. <laughs> it is actually labeled secret entrance. That's the secret entrance. We can finally get inside. Here I go. Our purity's just the most precious little things. Mario, I feel I must ask. Did you know that I used to be a rather famous actress? I was a diva of the stage. I was known as Madame Flurry the world over. But the filthy air outside the spotlight repelled me, so I came to the woods. And soon enough, I glimpsed the beauty of these punies and their pure little hearts. It reminded me of my own innocence as an actress, and that made me realize I shall ever love the stage. I must feel the spotlight shine on me again. I must. As you can see, these dear little punies helped me find my true self. That's why I must help them however I can before I go on my own adventures. Mario, can you hear me? Check it out. I 
was able to open it from the inside. Come on over here. The time has come for me to repay my debt to the punies. Come along, Mario. Yeah, like I said, not a very good impression at all. But I try my best. No, um, it's, I guess, more interesting than what the voice would have been otherwise. So, um, speaking of voices, though, um... Well, never mind, we've got more stuff here. I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, hmm, weird. Normally everybody's right here. What the hey? How dare they not be standing where I expect them to be? Hey, Elder, everybody, come out! Hello! Oh no, it is not what we thought. What? Are you guys hanging out? Uh, I, I like just giving them extremely stupid, mumbly voices. I didn't intend it to be that way, but the first time I started doing that in the... I think the sixth segment, the one that had like nine hours of voice acting. Actually, I think that was seven. Um, but yeah, the first segment where I did that... I realized that it actually started sounding like the blue laser minions from Cheat Commandos, and I am perfectly fine with that, though that is not what I originally intended. Well, now that I've wasted a turn. Well, now that I've wasted a turn. Oh, come on. How can I not block this? And let me waste another turn getting Flurry back out because I said I was going to use her, so. Does this do just two damage or three? Just two. Come on. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm thinking I should probably heal. Um. I am not doing even remotely well in this fight. It's kind of amazing. Anyway, um, I would like to start talking about the next subject that I was going to go into, but uh, the battle will be over and then there's probably going to be more dialogue, so I guess I'll just wait. Why can't I block this? Like, at first I was trying to block it with B, and then I realized that I wasn't doing well, so I didn't like, okay, whatever, I'll just block it with uh, with A. And no, I can't do that either. It, I just can't block the attack. And then I get Poison Mushroom. Also, that voice really doesn't actually sound like the blue laser minions, but whatever. Pretty slick work handling those guys, Mario. Seriously, way to go. But the question remains, where did everybody go? What could possibly make everybody Maybe leave? them? Finally, somebody shows up. What are you doing back, hiding back there? Come out for Pete's sake. I found us a powerful ally. This is Mario, and he's your friend. He's here to help. All those bad guys, Mario will stomp every one of them, just like those last goons. Oh, come on, where's the fat one? Is it it? There yeah, are I so need to voice few, the fat but one. we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Uh, don't know whose voice this is. Oh, there we go. How do we really know that Billy Fellow was our ally? He might be one of them. Juniper, what are you saying? He's not one of them. Listen, we can all fight alongside Mario and chase those goons out of here. 
We can take back our tree. We can take back our homes. Ah, big bad city there. Listen to yourself. Trying to sound all important like. You have no idea the kind of troubles we've been through while you were gone. No idea what the fuck this voice is supposed to be, by the way. I just wanted to do it. What? What are you... Oh, no, that's... Never mind. What are you talking about, Puniper? And why are there so few of you here anyway? What happened to everybody? Well, they've been captured by those girls. The elder, everybody, including your sister. What? Pichuni, tell me it isn't so. Oh, it's so, alright. She was taken off somewhere with the rest of them. They said it was because we wouldn't tell them where to find some crystal thing. We told them we never heard of it. Oh, poor Petuni. Well, that absolutely tears it. We've all got to go look for them right away. What are you saying, Pudio? We can't do anything to those giant goons. Besides, they aren't alone. The Coast Jammy tribe is in league with them. They're hoping to make this tree their own once we've all been driven from it. This is the worst voice. This is it for us. The end and adding the heavy old man to our ranks won't help a bit. How can you say that? You don't know that. We have to try, don't you see? Think about it. If we all get together, we can take care of any stupid jabbies. So who's with me? Come on, everyone. Let's pool our strength. Ah, Pudio, Pudio, Pudio. You'll have to convince me because I think you're nuts. What's that supposed to mean? Tell you what, you and Mr. Mustache there can get the revolution started. If you can free our friends who got locked up somewhere in the drill, then I'll join your little crusade. Huh? Look, that'll never happen, please? Fine, we'll show you. Right, Mario, right. Come on, follow me to glory. Let's go help them. Let's go, Venusauces look alike. Okay, now, anyway, yeah, if... No, okay, no, I'm not gonna do any more lines for this guy. Okay, maybe I am. Are you correct? No, I'll be done. But yeah, um, that is actually the voice of, uh, Klingon from, uh, Vinny's, like, Vine Sauce, uh, the Tomodachi live stream. It is the worst freaking voice, but I love it. It's, it's just so freaking awful. And I realized that I had to do it somewhere, and I didn't really know who to do it for. And I figured the random fat puny would be about as good of a choice as anybody, so... Maybe I can finally talk about what I was going to now. Um, the, uh, the voice that I've decided on for Vivian is uh, supposed to be Dr. Girlfriend from uh, Venture Brothers. And uh, the reason for that, as many people probably know, is... Uh, Apparently, in the Japanese version, uh, she is, like, I don't, I don't remember, I never remember which one it is. It's either transgender or transsexual. Like, I never seriously remember which one is which, but, uh, it's one of those. Like, and I thought that originally, like, I remembered that being the case, but I also thought that it was, like, an unconfirmed rumor. Because I remembered reading at some point that, like, th like, someone mentioned that that was the case, but then they were, like, misunderstanding it, and that... I, I don't... I'm trying to think, like, how to word this. It was, like, somebody who, like, mistranslated it, and it was actually, like, just being misinterpreted, but, um, I double-checked it, and from what I can tell, that does seem to be the case. And then they just completely removed that from the English version, of course. I think uh, some of the European versions, like the French one and stuff, I think those actually kept it in, though. Which is kind of interesting. So it's kind of like the Birdo situation. I still don't know what the story is with Birdo. I know that Captain Rainbow um, went to great and unnecessary lengths to confirm Birdo's gender as being female. But uh, if you don't know the story behind that, I encourage you to look it up, because it's kind of WTF. Yeah, 
Because it's like, I think, if I remember right, I want to say that that line about Birdo, like, being male but wanting to look pretty was, like, just added in in the American manual. I mean, Mario 2 was made for an American audience originally anyway. Oh, I tattled the wrong thing, goddammit. Um, like, it was obviously just a, basically a sprite hack of Doki Doki Panic. I think it added running. Believe it or not, the original game didn't have a run button. Okay, let me actually tattle the correct thing this time. Don't care. All I want to do is get the HP bar. So, anyway, these guys are not very difficult, actually. The, uh... Wait, what is this for? Defense? Oh, okay. Yeah, these guys aren't particularly hard. You just have to, uh... Attack them consistently to get rid of the mini yucks so that you can actually attack them. Which I have not been doing because I've been busily, t busily tattling them, so... Now I can finally actually fight this thing properly after about 25 minutes. You're watching me, Lord? Yeah, I encourage watching at least the highlights of that series for anybody who likes really, really stupid things. It's kind of weird. It's like, um, I typically don't watch a lot of the uh, popular LPRs and streamers just because in most cases it kind of has like the Chugga Conroy. Well, actually, I don't even think Chugga is that bad. I've never watched him, but I don't think he's considered like to be a like bad LPR. Um, I'm talking about mainly like PewDiePie, like the PewDiePie factor where it's like the more popular they are, you are, the more you suck. Um, so I usually don't watch the big name people, but uh, a few months ago, I don't remember how long, it's actually probably been about a year, honestly, um, just kind of started watching Vine Sauce stuff, and he's very down to earth and genuinely funny, and I like watching them. And the Tomodachi streams are not necessarily the best ones, but they're still funny. So, I try not to make 4,000 different references, but I usually end up doing it anyway. And I don't feel like dealing with these guys, so... Now this is happening. I do have to use up my items eventually. When I say that I, uh try not to make too many references, I basically just mean that every single time I do anything involving a Mario or Luigi voice, that's really the only thing I can think of. So, I don't do a very good job of not making references. And here we have the loner just kind of hanging out. Oh man. You called those punies puny. That's such a terrible insult. Um, uh, that was the Koop's voice. And that's all we got. Good. Good to hear it. Elder! Puny always said you. You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Can't possibly move out of those bars. Nope. Oh, rescue, is it? Oh, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? Big Brother! Is it my beauty? But Tony, thank heavens. You're here, you're safe. I would, dear sister, and I brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're gonna get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We've gotta find the cell key or we're going nowhere. Or I could just kinda go in here and eliminate the problem a different way, but... Gotta do more twink voice. Oh, okay, that was very brief. Never mind. 
Uh, you can rot in there. I don't really care about you. Um, so I guess we're just gonna wander some more. And let me go get Flurry because I keep saying I'm gonna use her and then I don't, so. Oh, now we're here. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Excuse me? We must what? Are you a friend of Mario's? Oh, wait, I see. And I most certainly do not approve. Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Oh, gee. Mm -hmm. Let's do that but who time. cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Oh, mercy me. Mario, you're popular with all the girls, aren't you? The precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it before the others. Mm hmm. Take care of my handsome stash, superstar. Let's get together again soon. Well, don't worry, Mario. I'm not too jealous. What a shameless flirt, though. Oh no, how am I gonna win this fight? It's almost like I fought several of you already. I'm just gonna aim all the way over there now. Does she do the Dr. Evil thing? Like, what is that little, like, finger nibble? Like, what is that? Like, I mean, it's not quite the Dr. Evil thing, but it's very similar. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Also, there's, like, some X-Not tra trading cards there or something. Huh, okay. Well, holding on to that until the end of the game. Like, why would you give me a 50 HP mushroom this early on? When am I ever going to need that? Wait, I got the red key, right? Yeah. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child. You and you sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? But why? What did I do? Listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you and mind your elders, you whelp. How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just want to find help to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whine, and you never interrupt an elder mid-lecture, never. You'll wonder why the other punies call you a doofus, that's why. And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Three hours later. Oh, wow, I was actually pretty close. Okay. Or else, you got that. From now on, you're going to get your act together, Punio. Yes, Elder. Yes, I understand. Ah, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Well, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone. We started with you, Elder. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy. The cell is cold, which isn't good for the old back, and there's this damp stench. It could have left hours ago. So, why is Punio special? Enough standing around. Because he's the one with stripes, Just I guess. you wait, Petunia. I'll be right back for you. Once again, could go in there and eliminate the problem. Okay, um, so I guess I'm looking for the blue key then. So what do I have now that I didn't before? Oh, I think the elder, like, goes to, like, scramble the fairies or whatever. Scramble the fairies! But, uh... Yeah, I think I know what I'm doing here. So this is basically where the game turns into Pikmin, which I have no problem with. Um... When people say they don't like Chapter 2, I think they're generally referring to the annoying part at the beginning. Not so much the tree. The tree is okay. Oh god, here we go. Well, if it isn't Punio, 
Oh, you heard me? Does that say I expected you to manage to rescue the owner? I told you I could do it. Don't get us round head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other puties yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule. And just kind of grows. I enjoy that. Deplorable, how dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? Must make it even more high-pitched. But, but, Elder? Shut your trap, Puniper, and mind me, do you hear? You'll help Mustache, you would hear. What you'd say your name was again? It was, uh, it was Marty, right? And it... It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, she's he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you and everyone else. Help Marty cure out our tree. Oh, all right, Elder. Whatever you say. I don't know why I decided to pitch it up higher. Just wanted to make it more annoying. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Patrini, too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. Right, everybody. There you go, my punies. That's the spirit. Yay. Thanks, you guys. Sorry, if you have a moment, might I ask a question? We're looking for a lovely gem called a crystal star. Do you know of it? The crystal star, huh? Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down at the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what would we do with it? Alright, guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. Marty? Oh, Marty, oh, I'm thinking you better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that, Marty, oh? Crystal Star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses, I forgot something. Before you can get the Crystal Star, you must save all the captured punies. Well, yeah. You'll, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies, not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. <laughs> God damn, that thing's big. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. Yay, I got a thing. Alright, guys, here? let's go rescue everyone. Okay, so we... Oh, and one more thing. So sorry, so sorry. I've been awfully forgetful as of late. No, then where was I? Oh, right, on your way to the Crystal Star. If you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give you a whistle to call them back here. You got all that? Don't think I'll be needing that. But anyway, we now have our fantastic group of uh, punio... Whatever the hell the big one's called, I still never remember. And then just nine generic ones. And uh, with this a massive army, I guess I'll like way down a platform or something. I don't really know. And what does this do? Sure, we'll go with that. My goodness, would you look at that? A pipe leading down? Let's see where it leads. I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay, now. <clears throat> I kind of hate it when there's giant chunks of dialogue like that, because even though I do like doing the voices, and I think most people at least don't mind that, um, I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say, like, enjoy. It depends on what it is. But uh, it does also kind of detract from progress quite a bit, because... It obviously takes a lot longer to read the lines out loud than it does to just kind of, like, keep them on for a second, read it, and then skip past, so... It slows things down a bit, but... Eh. 
I also don't know why I'm actually showing this battle on screen, but whatever, it's gonna be over in a second anyway. Still can't block the attack, I can get lucky though. Oh hey, I'm about to level up again. I didn't actually realize I was that, I was that close. Um, let me actually look at this real quick. I've got... Uh, not too many other that I immediately want to put on, so I'll go for HP next time. I do have to buff that up a little bit before I can... P. So anyway, this section's kind of annoying. You have to do this uh, quite a few times. And this is basically where the game kind of just slows to a halt. And then I fall. I don't know if there's actually anything down here. Probably something in the bushes. Also, I hear that, I hear that the uh, neighbors upstairs are uh, have released a deer and are just repeatedly tackling it to the ground, as they usually do. Eh, I was going to use the mushroom and heal, but no. Um, I'm probably not going to use the dizzy dial or the sleepy shape. So... I'll just toss that, I guess. I'm probably not going to use the frickin' Thunder Rage either, but it's more useful than those, I suppose. I actually can't tell what the hell they're doing up there. It sounds like some kind of, like, tribal drum beat. Because it, it's not like they're just hammering or something. It's like... I don't know if you can pick it up in the recording at all, but they're just making some kind of unnecessary ruckus. And it's not terribly loud, but they do this, like, all the goddamn time. Brenna frickin' hates it. I am somewhat more tolerant. Oh yeah, they're afraid of spiders. I forgot about that. So, gonna get a level up out of this fight. I figure I might as well show it for no real reason. Also, I think this would probably be the first piter of the game if I hadn't, uh... End of sentence. No. If I hadn't gone to the Pit of 100 Trials. Speaking of which, I'll have to go to that again uh, during the uh, cleanup on Isle 2. Not sure how far I'll get into it. can probably get to like 40 or something. From what I understand, I think the uh, only prizes really worth bothering with are like the one on the 30th floor and then like the one for beating all 100 floors. I think that, no, actually I think there's one on like 50 also from what I remember from the comments. But um, when I did the pit last time, I mentioned that there was a badge that I wanted to get there and it's ZapTap. I don't remember if I ever actually said that on screen. But ZapTap is basically a permanent volt shroom. It's good to have. So let's go for HP this time. Might take FP next time, depending on if I get any other cool badges before that. Are you fake? Yeah, you're fake. Which is unusual. It isn't immediately obvious that, it, that that's the case. And yet another shine. Okay. I'm going to just try to avoid enemies here if I can. If I do have to fight them, I will do it off screen. And where does this go? Actually, wait, is this progress? Where, how am I missing a couple? <clears throat> and there goes a jabby. Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders and trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabble. He's of the Jabby tribe. Okay, now see, I thought that that was just Jabby with an E at the end, but then I realized that was an L. So I guess that's slightly less of a terrible name. I wonder if even Jabble is my enemy now. And now all I can think of was that stupid freaking Lion King ripoff, like, 
Anyway, um, I don't actually remember the name of the the movie or the company that made it, but uh, if you remember Dinosaur, never mind. Hold on. Oh, okay. It's this one won't take that long. But yeah, if you remember a uh, Dinosaur Adventure, which I know I've talked about before at some point, um, it's from the same people that made that. It's one of those incredibly shitty, like low to no budget animated features that was just not a DVD and was just randomly a PS2 game for no real reason. But there was one that was, like, supposed to be kind of like The Lion King, except it just wasn't at all. And there was just a part from it where the character who was supposed to be, like, Simba is talking to the character who's, like, supposed to be, like, Scar's son. And it's just like, do you think we could be friends? He's like, no, I think we should be enemies. And it was just kind of a great line. The only other line I remember from that is, Diamonds, my god! And then, of course, from Dinosaur Adventure, you just have, Rubbish, just the opposite. Everyone should come here. Dinosaur Adventure is the best. It is so freaking bad. Actually, I, th I think I did watch the whole thing. Just because I, I had to know. Anyway, let's go gather this thing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I did a great job there. I should probably try that again. Um, so how many shines do I have after this? Because I could probably go back and power up a partner then. I didn't want to uh, leave the area mid-sec, like, just, like, leave this halfway through exploring it and go do stuff, but uh, leveling up another character is a worthy cause. So, how many do I have? Oh, I have four. Okay, yeah, I can definitely do that then. Um, I'm not going to do it right this second, but I might open the next video in Rogue Port and uh, take care of that, because leveling up either Coops or Flurry would be nice. Not sure what Flurry's uh, third level move is. I think she gets like 25 HP, though, which is pretty boss for this early on. Yes, I just used the word boss. I don't really know why I did. I just kind of felt like it. Also, I th I know there's hidden shit. I don't know where it is, but I know there's hidden shit somewhere here. Like, aside from this, which I already know about, Okay, that's actually really useful. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, we're gonna come back. Oh, no! Alright, um, that takes two. Can I take out? I'll worry about it later. I'm not gonna do it right now. Yeah, I, I, I swear there's other hidden stuff somewhere. And I don't know how you're supposed to find that. Actually, I'm ignoring that sentence for spoiler reasons, but, uh, I think there's a uh, some. There, I think there's a way to uncover secrets later on. I just don't have the ability for that yet. Oh, now we get to watch a whole bunch of jabbies come out with our one puny. We will be able to defeat this starfish army. Everyone, it's the jabbies. It's a 100 jabby squadron. Uh, good charge. luck with that. Okay, so yeah. Anyway, um, how long has this video been going on anyway? Let me double check the time here. Oh, long enough. Okay, never mind. I didn't realize how long I've been going. Um, I am going to stop here then, even though this is a completely arbitrary place to stop. Uh, next time I will be leveling up either Coops or Flurry, possibly grab a couple things around the town, and then I will come back here. So... I will see you for that, and there will be at least 37 key lime pies.